for somebody that gets emotionally attached to cars, this week is kind of sad because I'm selling the e-golf and this is the second car that I've sold in just seven days. I sold my Tacoma seven days ago today. Now the e-golf is going. I'm in the process of kind of revamping my garage, consolidating a little bit. So I've got some new plans in the works. Um, and unfortunately, the e-golf is going. Um, in this video, I want to talk about kind of my experience with e-golf and whether I'd recommend owning this vehicle again. In short, the answer is absolutely yes. I have loved the e-golf. It's been a great car for us. It's a ton of fun to drive. It's got some really good redeeming qualities. Unfortunately, it's just not the best car for us anymore. So I'm just going to go over real quick some of the things that are really great about the e-golf and the reasons why I'm selling it. So the first thing that I've really liked about the e-golf is that it's very stylish and it's an electric vehicle. That's something that's becoming a lot more common within the last year and there are a lot of cool vehicles on the horizon that are EVs. But when this first came out in 2015, you couldn't really say that. Most of the electric vehicles on the market, hybrid vehicles on the market, have a really quirky, weird style to them. And I like the fact that the e-golf has a very clean, simple look to it. It's very sporty. It's a classy looking vehicle. Um, and so you're getting all that with the EV package. I didn't want to get something that was really bubbly or weird looking. I did have a Chevy Volt, the first generation model, and it was a great car, but that was the one thing I didn't like about it is that it just felt like it looked a little bit odd. Wasn't crazy about that. And that's really what drew me to the e-golf is that, you know, some people looking at this think it's a Golf R with the Golf R wheels. You know, it looks just like the GTI or the standard Golf model, which is a great looking vehicle. And so you're getting all of that with the EV package and that's definitely a win. 2017 and newer e-golfs have a 125 mile EPA range. The older models have a range of 84 miles. For us, the 125 has been more than adequate. We've never had concerns in terms of range anxiety. We do only use the vehicle here in the local region. So the most that we're driving is maybe 30 miles one way and back. So that's kind of why we haven't had an issue with range. If we were wanting to do longer drives over the pass to another state or something, then that would become an issue, especially because this doesn't have the fast charge option. But when we're doing those longer drives, getting on busier highways, traveling at higher speeds, we'd rather be driving one of our other vehicles anyway, because they're gonna be safer in an accident and they've got more room for kids stuff. Another thing that's great about the e-golf is that it's a ton of fun to drive. I've always thought of this as a German version of the Mini Cooper. The Mini Cooper is one of the most fun vehicles to drive because it's small. It's got that go-kart like feel, even though it doesn't have a ton of power. And this again is that German equivalent. It's a much more refined vehicle. It's got a much higher quality interior. Actually, everything about it is higher quality. Um, but it's small, it's got those small proportions, so it's really fun to drive. It's got the battery down at the bottom that really lowers that center of gravity, great handling, and because it's an EV, it's got a ton of torque, and it's very peppy to drive. The E-Golf's also been a very reliable vehicle for us in the time that we've had it. It's only got 14,000 miles on it, so we would expect that. You certainly wouldn't expect it to have any problems just yet, but for what it's worth, it hasn't had a problem and the range doesn't seem to have diminished at all either. It's really held strong. I mentioned that the EPA range is rated at 125 miles. We use it primarily in town, and even with the Golf R wheels, we see our range in about the 145 mile range when fully charged, so very pleased with it in that capacity. So if we like the e-golf so much, why are we selling it? Well, it's nothing to do really with anything that's wrong with the vehicle itself. On the contrary, we've been very pleased with the e-golf and I don't have any complaints about it for what it's intended to be and what it's intended to do. Uh, the real reason that we're selling it is because our life circumstances have changed. When we first bought it, we had uh, one infant child in a car seat that we were able to position in the middle of the back seat. Since then, we've had a second kid. They've both grown up quite a bit. Our, oldest is four years old our youngest is about a year and a half and we can't fit a double stroller in the back it's gotten a lot tighter when we first got it we used this about 90 percent of the time when we were driving places my wife would drive it all over with our child now she probably drives it about 10 percent of the time so it spends a lot of time sitting not a lot of time driving and instead she's driving our gas guzzling forerunner so i uh, figured it doesn't really serve a purpose for our family anymore certainly going to miss it. It's been a great vehicle. I have no complaints about it. If you're in the market for a small compact hatch like this, great vehicle, especially because this is the all electric. I can't say enough good things about the e-golf. It really is a great vehicle all around. It's a bittersweet decision to sell it, but we feel like it'd be better to move on to something that gets good gas mileage or no gas, um, hopefully, 
but then also kind of suits the needs of our family a little bit better. So stay posted for more update on that. Uh, currently in the process of kind of deciding how to reconsolidate our garage. As I mentioned at the beginning, we just sold the Tacoma. We're sold this now. I'm also thinking about selling one of my other vehicles. So three of the four would be going. We actually already got one more. So more on that to come soon and um, making other decisions on potentially one or two more additions. So we'll see on that. Um, love to get your guys' comments, feedback on the e-golf. If you have any comments or questions, leave those below as well. And I'd be happy to you know, tell you what I can about the e-golf. For more car videos, be sure to subscribe. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.